and you focus on the breath and develop your powers of concentration. You're really strengthening the mind so the mind can deal with whatever comes its way, both from inside and out. Things coming from outside, of course, unkind words from other people, thoughtless words, painful situations. Issues from inside, your own greed, aversion, and delusion, you have to learn how to resist those as well. Because they don't just come as force, they come as ideas, they have their reasons. And so the combination of the force they have, sometimes you the, the body is all worked up over greed or aversion or delusion or lust or whatever. And then the mind starts giving them itself all sorts of reasons why it should give in. They have to learn how to resist both, and this is one of the reasons why we focus on the breath, is so that we can have some force that goes back in the other direction. When the mind, when the mind is agitated and the breath gets agitated, okay, then it's piled up against you. But if you learn how to calm the breath down, even when the mind is agitated, okay, that can let the mind find a more solid place to stay, and it's not getting itself all worked up. And then when you get the mind really still, then you can see clearly. Because as I said, the defilements have their reasons, but the reasons are pretty bad. And if you're not paying careful attention, you can fall for all, all sorts of st sneaky reasons that the mind gives itself. And so you want the mind to be really, really quiet and really solid and still. And then you can see things clearly for what they are. You can see right through those lies that the mind tells itself. And then when you find that you can work dealing with the issues that come up from within the mind, it's a lot easier to deal with things that come from outside, because you realize you've got a good solid place here inside and you don't have to let things outside come in and make inroads on you. Other people's ideas, other people's actions, you learn how to let them just go past, go past. And most they can affect is your body, but you don't have to let them affect your mind. So you've got to keep your mind really strong. And the body, in this way, is kind of a weakness. The fact that you've got a body, it opens yourself up to disease, it opens up, will be opening yourself up to being attacked by other people. So you have to look at the body that way as kind of your weak spot. So to compensate for that weak spot, you've got the mind, which you want to make your strong spot. Once the mind is really solid and strong that way, then nothing can harm it, because you realize that the in fact, impact that other people have on you, that's because you let them into your mind. But if you decide not to let them in, they're not going to be able to do any harm. So it's really important that you work on the strength of your mind this way, getting it really solid and concentrated and still, with a good foundation, that we can live in the world and not be overrun by the world. You can live with your defilements and not be overrun by your defilements. That right there provides you with a lot of safety.